Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I would request you to subscribe, like my video, share if you have not done yet. So in this tutorial we are going to talk about Jenkins. So if you have seen my tutorials, we have seen a lot of videos about Jenkins. So we have already set up Jenkins as Docker container and also we have seen how to set up Jenkins in Windows machine. So, but we have not seen how to set up Jenkins in a CentOS machine as a normal Jenkins master. So we will see that in this uh, tutorial. So let me just get my IP address using IP ADR. This will be used to access my Jenkins server. Okay, so let me sh also show you, I don't have a Jenkins service running. So if I run system CTL status Jenkins, uh, it says there is no service so we need to set up Jenkins for in this machine so the first thing what we have to check is the pre-request so Java is a pre-request for Jenkins to be running so since I don't have Java installed we have to install Java so you can install it using yum install Java because I'm using a CentOS machine if you are using some other Ubuntu or you know some other machine the steps will be different Okay, let's uh, wait for the installation to be completed. So it may take some time depending upon your network speed okay, and the performance of your machine. Okay, great. So we have completed the installation of Java. So let me clear out the screen. Okay, so if I run the Java version, you can see the Java version number there. So it's an open JDK. So you can, if you want to install Oracle Java, you can use the command for that as well. Okay. So now we need to follow this uh, instruction to install Jenkins. So it's a curl command to just add the repo first, then we need to uh, run update and we need to install the command. Okay, so I have uh, given all this instruction in my in the video description So you just need to copy and paste it from the video description. So you don't have to worry about uh, Writing down all these things by looking into this video So you can just check my video description. Okay, so I'm the second command is uh, sudo rpm import uh, the key for Jenkins Okay, so the next step is uh, to install Jenkins. So we did the repo first and the key and now we are installing Jenkins. Okay, so you can uh, click on yes. We are almost uh, one fourth, 20, 20 percentage. We are for a 75 percentage, so I think we are almost done. Okay, so the package is downloaded now, so now the installation is also completed. So the time took more to download the package. Okay, let me clear out the screen. Now, if I run the command systemctl status Jenkins, so you can see the Jenkins is uh, there, but it's uh, disabled, right? So it's in the inactive state or dead state. So we need to start the Jenkins. So I'm going to run the command sudo systemctl start Jenkins. 
okay so that is done so let me run again uh, system ctl enable jenkins and see this enable jenkins command is to convert the jenkins as a service okay so i think i have a typo in zero so let me change that okay so this command is to convert jenkins to run as a service so if you see uh, you know it's a uh, Jenkins service is not a native service, it's redirecting to that configuration. So now if I check pseudo system CTL status Jenkins, you can see Jenkins is running. You can see the status active and running, right? So and it's a uh, it says it's a Jenkins dot service. So it's running as a service now. Let me clear out the screen. Now, how to access the Jenkins? Mean we need to access the Jenkins on the port 8080, right? So I'm running this command to give the port 8080 into the firewall exception. So you may not have to do it in your machine, but most of the cases, if you try to access the Jenkins on the portal on the web, web, you know, in your browser using the host IP and the port 8080, you may see some error like unable to reach the page. That is because port 8080 is blocked. So I've already run the command, so now it's open to me. So the first page or first screen words you will get is like you need to have a administrator password or initial admin password. This is located in the Jenkins master server. So it's under the location slash var slash lib slash Jenkins. And you have to go to a folder called the secrets. And there will be a file called initial admin password. So you need to uh, read that file and there will be a password in it. So you can copy that And you can paste that into the uh, this first initial setup screen. So you just click on uh, continue, okay, and uh, Click on install uh, suggested plugin if you want to configure your plugin by yourself you can uh, uh, Select the other option and you need to select which plugin has to be done but I prefer, you know, uh, the standard plugins because there are a lot of plugins which are helpful for you, like uh, Git, Subversion, uh, Matrix, Authorization Strategy, Pipeline plugin. So all those things we use it as part of our Jenkins. So let's wait for these plugins to be installed. Okay. Since uh, there are multiple plugins to be installed, it may take some time. Okay, so we have to wait for the installation to be completed. If you get any errors in this installation, that means uh, the plugins are not getting downloaded. So you may have to check your internet connection, or if you're going through some proxy, the proxy may be blocking the download of the plugins. Okay, so we are almost done. So let's wait for another couple of minutes. Okay, so the installation of plugin is completed. So next screen is we have to create an admin user. So you give a username. So I'm going as admin and you can set up a password. Okay, and I use it. you can give a name, full name. So I'm giving admin here and just give a email address. Okay. Just click on uh, save and continue. 
and it will give you the URL which we already know it's the IP address and the port 8080 click on start using Jenkins so we are in the Jenkins home page and you can see we have a admin and we can log out from it we can log in back with that mean account which we created So we can try to create some new jobs so let me create some freestyle job you can see it's already giving options like pipeline multi configuration projects because all those plugins are uh, installed um, when we done the standard installation okay so this is going to be a test job so in Jenkins uh, we have a lot of options so I'm just clicking on save um, I'm not going to talk about what are the settings when we need to set up in when we are creating a job so I hope uh, you know this is a basic information video where you can set up your Jenkins on your CentOS machine so you can have your Jenkins master running locally on the machine and you can do your all configurations so I hope this tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching so kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment.